So FoundationDB is you know, one of the many companies here building a NoSQL database. Um, and sort of we've been building it for a long time. We started actually over four years ago building the database, but have been really sort of conservative and deliberate in coming to market. So we actually built the database for over two and a half years before even going into alpha or beta testing, and then did that for another 18 months. And sort of the exciting thing for us with this show is that we announced the product, uh, the commercial availability of this product at the show, and are sort of here talking to people, telling them what we're doing, and sort of bringing it to market. A lot of people that are thinking about NoSQL databases are coming from the world of traditional relational databases. And one of the big things in that world is transactional integrity. And a lot of people have questions about transactional integrity in NoSQL databases. And a lot of the vendors around the show floor are using words like transactions and ACID to talk about you know, their databases. But one of the things we're really sort of highlighting with FoundationDB when people talk to us about it is that it's one of the only NoSQL databases to provide true multi-key global sort of transactional integrity, which is a really, really important feature, we think, sort of for the next generation of NoSQL. Yeah, we had a startup come talk to us about FoundationDB, and one of their challenges was that they actually wanted to run multiple data models in their back end. They wanted a graph database, they wanted a document database, and they also wanted a key value store. And so they were thinking about, you know, do we have to choose three different NoSQL databases, you know, to get all of that functionality? And they came to us because our storage substrate allows us to actually serve each of those three data models off of a common sort of storage engine. And the transactions are sort of the special technology that lets us be able to do that. So when that startup came asking us questions about that, we were able to say, yeah, you can actually use a layer on top of FoundationDB to build graphs. And we have a you know, graph blueprints compliant graph database. You know, We also can be a key value store and also do other things. So that's sort of an example of a typical kind of a use case.